Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Like Stephen Fry just said, as a UN Secretary General Special Advocate, I have been working for more than a decade on what we call financial inclusion. That is giving everyone, everywhere, the financial services they need to protect themselves against hardship, to invest in the future, and to really finally be able to be part of economic progress. As a special advocate, I witness up close the power of purpose-driven technology to really change people's lives. And I've seen that when we developed the right technology for the right reasons, we can empower billions of people. A low-income woman whose digital savings accounts will allow her to really pay the tuition for the children to go to school. Or smallholder farmers who've expanded production thanks to online credit. Or migrant workers who can use safe mobile payments to send home back to their loved ones in their home country. We have really made great progress, but still today, 40% of the world's adults are, adults are still locked out of the financial system. We need, we need to move much more quickly. One reason for this urgency is our commitment to the Sustainable Development Goals. Financial inclusion has been widely recognized as a crucial enabler for reaching these goals in 2030. So, if we want to catalyze real progress, financial inclusion needs to be in place soon. And a new revolution in financial technology is beginning to unfold. Blockchain, artificial intelligence, and big data are already really transforming the financial landscape. In China, Kenya, and Tanzania, for example, financial services are being provided on a massive scale, thanks to non-innovative technologies. So today, technology is making it possible also for people to co-design financial services to reflect what they really need. And I cannot stress enough, if we do not listen to the people's needs, we're really not going to be able to make them transform their lives and really develop themselves. At the same time, we must ensure to protect their privacy, their dignity, and their rights. I'm really very excited. When I started this work more than 10 years ago, it was going very slowly. But today, with technology, I think we might actually be able to make it even before I retire, if I ever do. Thank you very much, everybody, and please, let's partner to make this true. Thank you.